of money. Well, I mean, this is the thing because the you know, I've I've had so many friends go through the mental health system and then put on these drugs like sertraline or Prozac or lithium and things like that, and all they're doing is masking symptoms of, of a lot of the time nutritional and and uh, neurochemical imbalances, and they're not actually. You know, targeting the, uh, the 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 actual illness and causation of the thing. They're just giving somebody drugs that makes their symptoms and their and their um, personality disorders yeah, uh, they're, easier they're, to deal with. They're allopathic. Society. They're allopathic rather than homeopathic, mm. um, dealing with symptoms rather than cause. Yeah. Ironically, when I went to a homeopath, and this is a much longer story that last time I was with a homeopath uh, is a long story that I'll perhaps say another time. Mm-hmm. Um, but in essence, she didn't tell me what she was treating me with. But afterwards, she told me it was lithium yeah. in homeopathic dose, because lithium is actually a powerful tool. But it's, it's, it's but, it's but you don't you don't blast yeah. you don't no. blast people with it. You give them a teeny a teeny element of it and mm. see what they do with it. And I sure. went through really high states after that, mm. and 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 I'm pleased with my high states. I love my high states. Yeah. Yeah, luckily my high states have never been ones that have made me think I can jump off buildings <laughs> or anything like that, yeah? Yeah, lucky uh, you. <laughs> I know, my, my, my high states have led me into trouble with others, mm-hmm. but that's only because people don't think I'm listening to them, yeah. or, um, and they're put out on some ego psychological mm-hmm. level by me being the, look at me, I'm the big important person, I've yeah, yeah, yeah. just had insight yeah. into the into our spiritual teacher, mm-hmm. listen to me, or, or you're not using your time well. Yeah, yeah? <laughs> yeah sure, sure, sure. <laughs> so people don't like that, and I get no, thrown... And it I've, comes from a place of love, though, ultimately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want you to know the truth as well. <laughs> yeah, it's my but, but I've got, I've, you know, I've spent 25 years in a particular spiritual movement, and I've got marginalised within that movement. The reason I've got marginalised is that I, I display neuro uh, diverse behavior otherwise known as borderline um bipolar and they say oh, well, congratulations you've been diagnosed as alive my friend <laughs> yeah and, uh, and, well actually what i've now realized thanks to a book called the myth of meditation is it's just i'm living two journeys much fuller than a lot of people do the journey of the soul mm. which is often related to depression and yep. being grounded what have you and the journey of the spirit which is often the state where i I, in my dreams, at least, I'm flying, mm. um, and uh, I'm, I'm changing the world in really meaningful, yeah. meaningful ways in that in, in in that modality. And it's really important to be in touch with both the journey, the painful journey of the soul, and the wonderful journey mm. of the spirit, um, and what the nine to five uh, regulations of this world generally do is make it impossible for people to go through either journey because they have to be pinned down and uh, well, yeah, I mean, turn up at work at a particular time, pay their mortgage yeah. and all the rest of it. Uh, luckily, I cottoned on at 18 yeah. that this was not the life for me, oh, that I had to have a vasectomy before losing my virginity and I had to um, make sure I never got caught in the mortgage trap or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. although I am susceptible to attractive women, it's <laughs> never led to mortgage or children. Yeah, 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 fair enough. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, this was supposed to be an interview of you, and I've, <laughs> I can't help opening up my yeah, my, okay. my background story. Well, the um, so, I mean, so it's funny that you mentioned uh, bipolar because uh, you know one of one of the uh, you know I was an ex partner of mine. I was with for six years. She suffered terribly, you know, uh, from these episodes that would last about six months, and they'd be mm-hmm. incredibly destructive for her, for us as a relationship, for everybody around her. For uh, how long were you in the relationship for? Uh, six years. That's and, uh, the most significant relationship of your life, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. In, in 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 linear terms. In linear terms, definitely. You know, um, uh, me and her, we still have an amazing bond these days. But the thing with uh, a lot, you know, I'm not saying it's all bipolar sufferers, but uh, a condition that I came to understand about, which had an incre- you know, in- incredibly positive effect on um, her well-being, uh, was understanding this underlying condition called pyroluria. Uh, P y r o l o r i a. We've been doing some pyrocrafts together more or less recently so oh, yeah. pyro, pyro has it got to do with fire uh or the well, fire I mean, pyro, element in any way pyro is yeah it's fire in greek you know so um you star you know i like my donut <laughs> how did you get <laughs> uh, you're right i'm a walking homer simpson have you seen the picture of homer simpson's brain uh, it's, no it's, it's got an ethical uh, 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 ethical framework yeah there's do's there's do nuts <laughs> and there's donuts yeah that's that's, oh, what, yes, that's what that's that's how his brain works. Do's, yeah. do nots, and donuts. I'll have this one. This one yeah. Are you going to sit in the garden and listen to us without interrupting no, us anymore? I'm going in. 
<laughs> oh, right. Many thanks for quavers are full of <laughs> you know, for you. bad things. Okay. I oh, know, I'm very happy with my jam donuts. You're a star. Oh, I'll be all right with that. Thank you, man. Marvellous. <laughs> Greg, see you Tuesday. No, I'm not going yet. I'll go get the ladders on. You all right? Oh, cool. you get the yeah. Yeah, How you long are you going to be? Um, he's walking back. Oh, he is? Yeah, he's back here. This is going to be an hour at least, yeah? I, I, I take it you've slept enough to do an hour's interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's supposed to be he's working for me today. <laughs> well, I'll pay you something to subscribe. <coughs> you haven't got enough money to pay Yeah. <laughs> it's Sunday, it's my day of rest, man. <laughs> Does he work you like a slave? No. What's interesting now, you, this man off screen who's called Greg, who gave me a gift that had so much love in it last Sunday, I was telling the Quakers this morning, uh, oh, you know, that if only I'd been giving people more gifts with that much love. In, in them as the gift he gave me last Sunday. It's called Greg's Gift and it will appear on this YouTube channel many times being walked around South East England, South West Wales, Yorkshire and God knows where else. Um, God's own country, Yorkshire. So um, while Bimble is preparing his cigarette and... The most unadvisable. I was going to say, there are, in my world there are two types of herbalists those who smoke tobacco and those who don't and guess which ones I rate more highly generally the ones who smoke tobacco <laughs> <laughs> I'll say yes <laughs> well you know it's a funny thing with herbalism I mean that's what we were touching on a, a while ago is the fact that you know there's that there's medical herbalism which is very much sort of like a homeopathic sort of allopathic uh, mindset about herbs about their efficacy about things like that and then shamanism or animism or you know more like medicine approach to the idea of the spirit of the plant and what and you know it's not necessarily about the actual compounds in the plant it's more about what the energy of the plant will do to you and what the spirit of the plant will do for you i think